Manchester United v AZ Alsmar then in the Europa League. Now, Manchester United obviously going in, not in good form at all in any games pretty much this season. Another difficult test away in Holland for Manchester United. These are quite quite up near the top. I think they're third in the Eredivisie. So these are no mugs. This is going to be a harder test for Manchester United than the Astana game. This is on a plastic pitch as well. So Manchester United are going into this with a real tricky tie ahead of them. And Manchester United have got to really be looking to get three points in this. Nothing less than three points is going to be acceptable in my eyes because we've got to get this group done and dusted after three or four games. We can't be fucking around in the last two group games in order to get the job done. We need to get it done in these next two games, win the two games, hope the other games end to draw and be clear in the race for the top spot. And then we can rest our players up for the league games and league cup and whatever else going into the new year that we know we're in the knockout stage of this competition because the league is going to need to take priority after this. This is a bang easy group. No disrespect to these three teams in the group, but Manchester United should not be fucking around with this group. And with the amount of money, and even still with the quality we have, even though it's a very poor squad, with the quality we still have possessing this squad, Manchester United should be running away with this group. There is no, no reason why we shouldn't. And that first game, only 1-0 against Astana wasn't good enough for Manchester United. We should have been swatting them aside. And this game, on paper, Manchester United should be, but away in Holland isn't always easy. And with Manchester United's form at the moment in front of goal, it is very worrying. Now, it was a solitary strike from Scott McTominay against Arsenal, which broke the deadlock for Manchester United. But at this moment in time, we're not carving great clear-cut chances and, and getting clinical goals at this moment in time. A few of them have been shots from distance. You're looking at a couple from James as well this season. We haven't been breaking teams down with good play and, and, and scoring them easy, easy tapping goals, clinical finishes, apart from a couple from Mason Greenwood, which he is probably going to be Manchester United's main threat again in this game. He is Manchester United's main threat going forward. I don't care what people say. He may have only just turned 18, but he is, for me, Manchester United's best attacking player and should be playing week in, week out for Manchester United. There is no excuse for, for him not starting this game. Now, the back four could well change up. Um, he's probably going to play Maguire or Lindelof alongside 2 one Zabi because I can't... Um, I mean, Phil Jones is out, so I can't see what other options he's, he's really going to have at centre-half. Uh, there, in, he's probably going to then play Rojo and probably, and probably Delo on either flank. Midfield, though, is going to be interesting. Obviously, Romero being goal. The midfield is going to be interesting. He did state that probably one or two youngsters will play. I think Greenwood will be the youngster that plays. Whether any more play, I'm not so sure. <clears throat> but the midfield is going to be interesting. He's probably going to pick Fred. Mata will probably be in there. And, and Matic will probably be in there. I can't see the, them youngsters getting, getting an opportunity from the start. Gomez has been out injured. I can't see him coming... Coming straight back in the starting. This game, he may well be on the substitutes bench. I'm not too sure, but I can't see Garner starting either. Garner deserves to be starting in my eyes as well. I don't care if this is a big European away game. He's been performing very, very well for the under-23s now and cannot be doing any worse than the dog shit that we're seeing on the fucking pitch at this moment in time. He probably won't even make the bench because he played in the amateur cut, the, the uh, league Cut for the uh, lesser teams, I forget what it's called now, against Lincoln on Tuesday. So I can't see him even, probably won't even make the substitutes bench for this game, but we will just have to wait and see on that. But I can't, I would, I would think that he's probably going to play Rashford, probably uh, Greenwood up front and probably someone else. Pro might bring out James and bring in Lingard or, so, or someone, else, and someone else up front and play sort of like that. I, I mean... I can't really see Chong starting either. He may start, but I'm not not totally convinced he's going to start. He did play half the game in that game against Lincoln and the under 21s, but I don't know. Chong didn't look too clever when he played in the in the first team in the last couple of games, so I've got my doubts whether he was starting. But we were, we will have to wait and see. I've got a feeling that one or two of them could be on the one could be on the substitutes bench, being probably Gomez if if he's fit enough. I would say it's probably going to be Gomez. And Chong and Ghana may well be the ones that miss out from what the squad is. I think there was a 20, I think it was a 21 man squad or something, I'm not too sure, but I think a couple of them won't make the bench, which is disappointing because this is where 
you want to see some of the youngsters given an opportunity, but the only obviously I would prefer obviously Manchester United to get the three points over giving the youngsters the opportunity. Because if we can qualify at ease, then we can literally play a full reserve, like a lot of youngsters, and give them 90 minutes because it won't matter so much about the result. But we will just have to wait and see. There are other players, I think, knocking on the door. Brandon Williams is in the squad again, so could he feature in this game? It would be his first European game in an away game, which would be nice to see. But it is on the plastic pitch, as I've said. And these are winning a lot of games at the moment in the Eredivisie. They're quite well up there. I think they're only behind PSV and Ajax. And Ajax have been sensational this last year or so. Certainly performing well in the Champions League as well. So we will just have to wait and see. But there are other youngsters knocking on the door. So if we can wrap this group up quickly, the likes of Levid could get their opportunity to come into the team for maybe the last couple of games if we can win this group with ease. And it'll be it'll be amazing to see some of them youngsters given the opportunity in the latter stages of this of this group stage. So get the game won, hopefully we will do, but this is going to be a difficult tie. I think Manchester United are probably going to struggle to win this one. I mean, on paper, we should be beating this team, but the way Manchester United are playing, just not good enough. I'm going to go Manchester United drawing this game 1-1, and to be honest, I will be disappointed if we can't get the three points in this game. Anyway, let me know your thoughts. Like the video, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll talk to you all again soon. See ya.